Hello my dear students how are you i hope you all be fine well i professor dr ramke sandokne welcome you all on today's virtual classroom session dear students in today's session we are going to learn a new chapter from standard 6 class of science subject and the name of the chapter is the living world what the living world dear students in this chapter we are going to study the various characteristics of living things which made them different from non living things what in this chapter we are going to learn the various characteristics of living things as we know that there are many types of plants and animals around us they show some similarities and some differences and with the help of that certain features we can tell that they are all living things these features are not seen in non living things such features are said to be the characteristics of living things so dear students let us study the characteristics of living things one by one and the very first characteristic is that growth what growth as we all know that a baby grows a baby grows up to become an adult person or woman or a man during the period of its growth the baby gains height weight and strength in the same manner all the animals grow into adults in a certain period generally we humans require 18 to 21 years for this growth dear students let us try a small experiment at home you might have a sapling in your home or in your garden tie a thread to the tip of a potted sapling that sapling should be potted or it may be in land but try to do it with a potted sapling keep the thread stretched and tie it to a peg or nail above the plant after some days what do you, what do we observe after 10 to 15 days what tell us that the plant has grown taller or not in all plants it is mainly the width and height of the stem that grows as they grow some plants develop branches why others do not so all living things grow animals grow only for a certain period plants on the other hand grow as long as they live means what human beings and animals have limitations 
refer to the growth but plants grow as long as they live and we grow for a certain period that is mainly in between 18 to 21 year growth of living things occurs from within the body which means the growth occurs in all body parts dear friends as we know that food is very important for the process of growth without food the growth cannot take place plants make their own food in sunlight plants make their own food in sunlight plants produce food from water nutrients in the soil and the carbon dioxide present in the air the process takes place in the leaves of the plant this photosynthesis process takes place in leaves it is brought about in the presence of sunlight with the help of the chlorophyll in the leaves there is a chlorophyll substance in the leaves and with that chlorophyll that photosynthesis process takes place in the leaves of the plant and so this process of food production is called photosynthesis what the process of food food the process of food production in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in the leaves of plant is called photosynthesis during this process plants give out oxygen when this process is going on plants gives out oxygen it throws oxygen outside and absorbs the carbon dioxide from the air from the air during this process plants give out oxygen plants appear mainly green in color due to the chlorophyll in them due to the chlorophyll in them why plants appear green in color due to the chlorophyll substance present in the plant so dear students animals however do not have chlorophyll so they do not produce their own food in the presence of in the presence of sunlight they search for food animals such as goats horses sheep cows eat grass with eat grass while wild animals such as tigers and lions meet their need for food by hunting other animals living on plants the intake of foods and the rest and the resultant growth is an important characteristic of living thing so dear students this is all about the very first characteristics of living things